Number six from the 2006 Higher Maths Paper 2, a very quick little vectors question for three marks. Here are two points in the 3D space, and you have to first of all find the components of PQ. PQ, in this case, just stands for a displacement. How do you get from P to Q? You have two points lying in space, P and Q. What's the move it takes to get there? Along the three perpendicular directions. How many along the X? How many back along the Y? And then how many up the Z? Well, you can answer it straight away. It's only one mark because it just says write down. So you can just do it by examination. How many steps to go from negative 1 to 3? That's 4 forward. How many steps to go from 2 to 2? Well, none. So that's 0. How many steps to go from negative 1 to negative 4? Well, that's 3 backwards. So 4, 0, oh, negative 3 is the answer. And just writing that would get you the mark. But you may well have felt happier writing it the long way. Do it if you wish. PQ would be Q minus P in terms of the position vectors. Q is 3, 2, negative 4, 3, 2, negative 4. Take away P, which is negative 1, 2, negative 1. Thereby arriving at the obvious result, 3 take away negative 1 is 4, because it's 4 forward. 2 take away 2 is 0, because there's no move. Negative 4 take away 1 is negative 4 plus 1, which is negative 3, and of course it is. So there's one mark. B. What's the length of PQ? How long is this line that joins the point P to the point Q? Well, that would just be Pythagoras in the three dimensions. The notation for it would be to have the modulus signs either side of PQ, standing for the length part only. And to do that, it's just like Pythagoras. You square the x's, you square the y's, and you square the z's. So it's going to be 4 squared plus 0 squared plus negative 3 squared. So that's the square root of 16 and 0, and I know I didn't write that, and 9. So it's the square root of 25, but don't leave it like that. So the length of PQ is 5. It's a mark. Part C. Find the components of a unit vector which is parallel to this. Well, if it's parallel to it, start any way you like. If it's parallel to it, it must go in the same direction. So it must follow the same ratio of steps, four along, none back, and in fact three down in this case. But you can't go all the way from P to Q because that would have length five. If you want to head off in that direction, but only cover one unit because it's a unit vector, that means I'd only go one fifth of this distance. Now there's no name for this, so I think I'll just put down unit vector, would be one-fifth of this. One-fifth of the same components. Putting that would get you the mark. Or you could write it all out this way. Just divide each of them by five. So if you go along four-fifths, don't go back at all, and then go down three-fifths, you'll have travelled one unit in the same direction. That gets a mark. Or that.